You're back. Don't act so happy to see me. Well, look at that. Your neon rank is sufficient to move on to a new assignment. You've earned yourself a heavenly delight ticket. How fun. One moment while I check on Mr. Mikey's schedule. Mr. Mikey is busy. Oh! Apologies, Mr. White, sir. I didn't realize it was you. Please, go right ahead. Mr. Mikey is waiting for you. Really? Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. There he is. Just the neon I wanted to see. Mr. Big Shot himself. You hear the good news? Huh? You've catapulted to the top of the rankings. Must have been all those old city kills. Needless to say, I'm proud of you, kid. Oh. Could be a little more enthusiastic, you know. Did you hear about what happened to Yellow? Is that the neon you iced? No. I mean, I know that's what they're saying, but I swear green's the real culprit here. Yeah, it makes sense. You didn't seem the murderous type. Yeah, well, forgive me if mourning a comrade doesn't put me in a celebratory mood. These kinds of things happen every year. If you cry over every neon that croaks, you won't get anything done. I know what will cheer you up. Your next assignment. It comes with a new soul card. If you nail this mission, I'll send you off to Hanging Gardens tomorrow. Beautiful place. You'll love it. Great. Thanks. Hey, kid. Listen to me. You're not like most neons I've met. You've got potential to really shake things up here, so don't go wasting it. I appreciate that, Mikey. Try not to embarrass me out there, White. need to snap out of it. I've got a mission to do. <sighs> Guess I'm at it alone today. I mean, that's what I wanted from the start, wasn't it? Didn't even break a sweat.
another one down. No scoped it. Didn't even break a sweat. Red. Hey. White. Wait. I... I didn't kill Yellow. I know. You were right. About the old city, I mean. I should have listened to you. You say this now, but I can see it in your eyes. You're planning to take on Green. And you'll ignore me again when I warn you not to. My rank is going up. It's not so far outside the realm of possibility that I make him suffer for what he did. That's exactly what he wants you to do. Which is exactly why you shouldn't do it. Won't you please spare me a crumb of context? These things are hard to explain. They don't have to be. Did you ever decide on that favor? If it would persuade you to talk, I'm still good for it. <laughs> you really don't give up, do you? If you want me to get on my knees, I will. Hmm. There was this one favor I had in mind, but I wonder, do you even have what it takes to help me out with it? Um, yes, actually. I already told you I'm ranked close behind green and... Hey! Damn it! Get back here! <laughs> Not my first try, too.
no-scoped it. They should try making some hard ones. Yeah. Didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> what a shame. Guess White couldn't keep up. Damn, I'm surrounded. How the hell did this happen? <clears throat> Need a hand? I could have handled those creeps myself, you know. A simple thank you would suffice. Ugh, do I have to? I would also accept some intel on Green. Fine. As much as I enjoy watching you spin your wheels, I suppose you've earned it. The truth is, I've tried hunting Green before. Years ago. He was less of a monster back then. The mechanical halo grants him godlike powers, but it also keeps him under the Believer's control. Over time, it's made him lose his mind. A cheater. I knew he had an unfair advantage against us. Green isn't defending his crown because he likes it here. He's just following orders. You see, even if you made it to the top and obtained his halo, all you'd win at best is enslavement under the Believer's. At worst? You'd become as feral and bloodthirsty as Green after years under the Halo's influence. I don't get it. What the hell did the Believers want with Green anyway? Or any of us for that matter? I don't know. I don't think the Believers are who they claim to be. There's a lot about Heaven that just seems... off. Like, surely God can take care of this demon problem himself? You're the second person who's mentioned this to me. And again, I must insist that God is a jerk. All I know is this competition is a sham. To what end, I'm still unsure. Then what's the point in participating further? Why not just cut our losses and tear off these stupid masks? Because I think there might be another way to win. Have you ever heard of the Book of Life? That's the thing Green mentioned the other day. He said the Believers don't know where it is or something. Which 
leads me to believe it's the key to uncovering the truth. This is where my favor comes in. Right? Will you help me find the Book of Life? I don't know. Now that I've got my info, why should I stick around? <sighs> joking. Only joking. I'll help you out. Good. Glad to have you on board. But we really need to work on your jokes. Yes, ma'am. Not bad for a dead guy, huh? Olive, pink, teal, smoke. I believe that's all of you. Please arrange yourselves before the altar. What's going on? We received reports that this group of Neons snuck into Heaven's Cloud Nine mini-golf last night. Tell us, Neons, did you play a few rounds? How was it? I got a hole in one. Well, I certainly hope it was worth it. Four! Let this be a lesson to any Neons who might be tempted to stray from God's path. As for the rest of you, things will only get challenging from here on out. Stay on your toes. Say, Red, would you consider hunting for this book, Straying from God's Path? Oh, absolutely. Not concerned by the whole public execution thing? Of course not. Only idiots get caught. Besides, we're just doing recon today. All you have to do is chat up some neons for useful info during your mission. Easy. Yes, so easy. Neons love talking to me. It's not like I've been branded a neon murderer or anything. <sighs> if only they knew you were such a baby. Hey! I'm not a baby. Just do what you can. Or don't. I can carry us both if necessary. Later, Wyatt. I'm not a baby! 